In Court on TKOA Television is brought to you in part by Campbell Bonding Company. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. State versus Roger Paul, 18133. It's a drug case. Good morning. Good morning, Judge. Let's see, who represents you, sir? Uh, okay. Mr. Gibson. All right. Yes, we're here for, for a pre trial. Your Honor, with the exception of the crime lab report, I believe discovery is complete. Evidence was submitted on February 8th. We're just waiting on the final test results. Very well. That's correct, Your Honor. I was just taking up Okay. Time. You're free to go, sir. Thank you. <coughs> Pardon? You're free to go. Thank you, sir. Aaron Anderson, 15211-1677. This is for... Revocation. Your Honor, I believe Mr. Anderson had his first appearance in front of Judge Webb last Friday, and since the case was in our division, Judge Webb ordered that he reappear to, to get on your docket in Division Three. I do have a discovery packet if the public defender. I've got two applications, Your Honor. Okay. Approach. Yes. Mr. Anderson, I've appointed the Public Defender's Office to represent you. And did he enter please last time? Judge, Mr. Carter's notes reflect that there was a plea of not true entered. Just to be sure, we'll enter a plea of not true to both cases by the way in petition. Okay, we'll enter the plea of not true. I will set the matter for hearing on July 20th. I think that'd be fine, Your Honor. It looks more of a technical nature. Okay. Anything else? Nothing further, Your Honor. Okay. You may stand aside, sir. Thank you. Uh, Your Honor, I was wondering if there could issue, issue a bond. Okay. Is there a bond set? Judge, I don't believe so. The petition is an absconding nature. Okay. I don't think there, these are going to be in the computer. They're just old enough that they are. Let's see. Okay. 
one of them shows up anyway. Let's see. And I believe the got. petitions are going to mirror each other. He was on concurrent probation in two cases. Yes, they're worded the same. Well, do you know why he failed to report? Judge, I, it's the first time. Yeah, Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson, is there any reason why you didn't report to probation? You, you may not want to get in that now, but... Yes, Your Honor, I was working on the road, and the PO knew that. I was working in Denver, Colorado. Okay, well, why don't you talk with his probation officer, and then if, if it's a mistake, then I'll be happy to address it. Who's your probation officer? Uh, Wiseman, I believe. Okay. I'll visit with him. We'll get back with him. State versus Michael Battenfield, 18 67. Pretrial on a drug case. Judge, there's no issues to take up at this point. Okay. We'll just leave it as scheduled. Let me stand aside, sir. Thank you. Very well. 18 145, State versus Brent Belt. Drugs and firearms. Possession of firearms for certain persons, other drug charges, theft. Your Honor, I believe discovery is complete with the exception of the lab report evidence was submitted on February 8th. Waiting on the okay. test. The state has uh, made an offer in the case, despite the fact that we are still waiting on the lab report. Very well. Anything further? Nothing further, Your Honor. I spoke to Mr. Okay. Bell yesterday on the phone. Didn't know they were going to get him up there today. Okay. Looks like they did. So there's no free trial issues. All right. You may stand aside, sir. Travis Blackwell, yeah. 17104. Sure Drug case. I guess it's a revocation. He's made an application if I can approach your honor. Okay. Sir, I've appointed the Public Defender's Office to represent you. Thank you, Pierce, for an arraignment. We'll enter a plea of not true. Let's sue signed the sentencing order. Judge Webb. Judge Webb, okay. Oh, scheduling to appear before Judge Webb on July 13th at 8.30. You may stand aside, sir. Thank you. State versus J. Bland, 18-121. Aggravated assault, endangering the welfare of a minor, firearms for certain persons. Judge, there's no pre-trial issues to take up on Mr. Bland's case at this time. Discovery's been complete. Um, state's made an offer, been in negotiation, and case is tracking as it should. Very well. We'll leave it on the trial schedule. You may stand aside, sir. State versus Reuben is Bowles, 18-185. Judge, I'm here, David Jean, representing Mr. Bowles. I'm an attorney out of Fort Smith. We've uh, uh, worked out a plea arrangement, and we're ready to plea. Okay, we'll transport him from Thank you, Judge. county jail. Appreciate it. State versus Scott Brown, 17-329. Failure to register as a sex offender, fires by certain persons. Judge, we have Mr. Brown brought over. All right, we'll transport you to the courthouse, sir. Thank you. 
DeWard Burroughs, 18173, failure to register. What do we appear here for? Let me see. It's a reappearance. Uh, discovery should be complete, and the state has made a plea offer. Mr. Uh, Your Honor, uh, we'll just leave it as scheduled. There's no issues to take it at this time. I'll get down to this and Mr. Burroughs and see if there's something we can dispose of this case. Your, Your Honor, uh, is there any way I can get to the courthouse today and get this taken care of? Are you doing time, ABC time right now? Yes, sir. How much? I'm on PV right now. Judge, if we could have it brought over, I think we can resolve this. Very well. Thank you, sir. Jeffrey Schult, 12227 for a revocation. Is there anything to be done in that? Not this time, Your Honor. Uh, when I'm going to ask to continue okay. his uh, revocation here to track with the underlying charge because that's the basis of the revocation. Judge, I, I'm going to object to the continuance. Um, Mr. Schott is charged with EWI fourth offense uh, on probation for that offense. Uh, the witnesses are subpoenaed and ready to go. The state's position is Mr. Schott has a problem, needs to get into treatment, the sooner the better. What, what were you recommending? To your judicial transfer, because they also have an alcohol treatment program in addition to drug treatment at DCC. Okay. Let's bring him over and we'll see what happens. Okay. James Christian, 18-9. Commercial burglary, 18-37, burglary. Judge Mr. Christian is one that's up for court. Uh, if we could have him transported as well. Uh, Very well. Try to resolve this case. You may stand aside, Mr. Christian. We're going to transport you to the courthouse. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. Inland Waste Solutions works diligently to be good stewards of the environment. Reducing waste via curbside recycling services, Inland Waste Solutions takes this mission seriously, but they need your help. When putting your waste and recyclables in their respective curbside containers, be sure that cross-contamination doesn't occur. Please only place recyclable materials in the yellow top bins. Check your recycling do's and don'ts list before you throw any item into the yellow top recycle bin. Together we can make a difference. Inland Waste Solutions, local people serving local people in Harrison. Stop in at White Oak Station on Caps Road in Harrison and fill up with Shell Gasoline, the highest quality gasoline with more miles per gallon, saving you money. Sign up for the Fuel Rewards card and save five cents per gallon every time. Plus, get an extra five cents off on Razorback Wednesdays. That's a savings of 10 cents per gallon. Check out their expanded deli and hot and cold food items. Caps Road, White Oak Station, where customer service is their number one goal. Plants, plants, and more plants. That's what you'll find at Camp's Plants in Harrison. Perennials, annuals, ferns, hanging baskets, shrubs, roses, decorative trees, and the largest selection of garden vegetables in the area. With different varieties arriving weekly, you're sure to find the perfect plant, shrub, or tree at the best price in the area. Camp's Plants and Business for over 33 years in Harrison. State versus Mitchell Davis, 18179. Breaking or entering, theft of property, criminal mischief. Judge, he's here for the purpose of just. I don't know why he's here. 
he, he, he appeared. Go ahead. Reappearance on the scheduling order. Okay. He entered a plea of not guilty before Judge Webb, and he's just appearing today to get on our scheduling orders. I'm going to try to work out something where that we don't have these reappearances just to get on scheduling orders. But yeah, I might show that we've got a scheduling order issued in cases yeah. tracking as it should. Next, appear Next appearance, August 10th, 930. You may stand aside, sir. State versus Gregory Dees, 18-85. It's a drug case. Judge, it looks like Mr. Dees was picked up on an alias warrant and was brought in front of Judge Webb last week and was just put on today, I guess, to get back on this court scheduling order. However, he's got a current scheduling order that we can maintain with the approved deadline of August the 10th during trial in September. Okay. So we'll just leave this schedule. All right. You may stand aside. Thank you, sir. Shane Duclos, 17291. Theft by receiving, fraudulent use of a credit card. If we'll, if we could have Mr. Duclos transported, we've got to negotiate for you. All right. We'll transport you to the courthouse, sir. Charles Flanagan, 18111, drug case. For pre trial. Judge, there's no issues in Mr. Flanagan's case to take up at this point. Very well. You may stand aside, sir. Thank you. State versus Edward Gonzalez. Fifteen. Okay. Okay. I'll wait a moment. Tell you what, they're they're having to bring them in shifts. We've got so many of them. Okay. Fifteen two twelve Edward Gonzalez. Drug case. This should be a first appearance on a petition to revoke probation. Okay. And this court did sign the sentencing order. Thank you. Gonzalez, I've appointed the public defender's office to represent you. There's a, a petition to revoke your probationary period. How does he plead to that? Not true, Your Honor. Okay. We'll set the matter down for revocation hearing on uh, July 20th at 9.30 or soon thereafter as we can get to it. Miss stand aside, sir. Thank you. State versus Richard Grammer, the second, 18203, breaking your entering, theft, fraudulent use of a credit card. He's got an application on by an approach. You may. Sir, I've appointed the public defender's office to represent you. We'll enter, if he hasn't already, we'll enter a plea of not guilty. He has a pretrial on August 10th at 9.30. <coughs> yes, sir. Your Honor, if we could, uh, the defendant would like to address bond. He currently has a bond of $25,000. Uh, he has been accepted into a rehab facility. We've got a representative here. Uh, for the facility and his mother is here and I guess uh, Mr. Grammer has been incarcerated up in Taney County, Missouri for some time uh, so his funding is low we'll say uh, in order to make that bond the, the, 
His mother is here to also tell the court that she'd be willing to be sure that Mr. Grammer uh, keeps all of his court dates and will help facilitate uh, any transportation he needs. Will she sign a surety agreement? She would, Your Honor. She just, she, she, it explains she needs to, she'd have to qualify. And, and I'll explain it to you, Your Honor. She okay. can sign the... She'll sign a surety agreement I'll, and qualifies. I'll do that. Okay. Let's see. Did I say yes? I said when he was supposed to come back. You may stand aside, sir. Yes, sir. State versus Kurt Runwall the second, eighteen two twenty four. Battery in the second, aggravated assault, intimidating a witness, firearms by certain persons. Do you have a lawyer, sir? No. Okay. Has he made application? He's not, Your Honor. Are you going to hire a lawyer or make? I fill it out. I have to turn in. Okay. I'll have you appear before your case is before Judge Webb. <coughs> so I'll have you come back on uh, appear before him rather on July 13th at 8:30 for arraignment and attorney status. Okay. You may stand aside. Thank you. State versus Daniel Hill the second, fifteen one sixty seven. It's a breaking or entering case and theft, criminal mischief. Is this a hmm. revocation? Judge, I show that we were appointed last week by Judge Webb. However, I don't have a file of discovery yet on Mr. So at this point, I would ask to set his hearing off to the next court date. And, Your Honor, I will say that his petition to revoke is based in part on a new felony charge. It's a, a drug case that did draw Division 4. Okay. I'll schedule the revocation hearing for July 20th, 8.30 or soon, 9.30 rather, as soon thereafter as we can get to it. Let me stand aside, sir. Charles Lee, 18-7, failure to register as a sex offender. Ben, I'm showing we typed a police statement. That's correct, Your Honor. We could have Mr. Lee brought over. Very well. We'll transport you to the courthouse. Zane Mattingly, 18-219, control substances, theft by receiving. Do you have a lawyer, sir? Uh, no, I do not, Your Honor. Are you going to hire, hire a lawyer? Uh, no, I'd like to apply for the public defender. Okay, there should be an application in the courthouse there. Not courthouse, the jailhouse, I should say. Fill it out, turn it in. And let's see. Did we transport him from the penitentiary? I don't believe so, Your Honor. Okay. Maybe not. All right. What do you do for a living, sir? I was working at Ranger Post, Your Honor, but I just recently lost my job, so I don't have any income. Okay. I'll have you reappear on uh, July 20th at 9.30 for attorney status and arraignment. Many things have changed over the years and so has auto body repair. Even though Ozark Auto Body has been in business for over 30 years, they continue to change with the times. They believe protecting the environment is important and have done so by using environmentally friendly waterborne paint from PPG. This aligns with the technology used by original manufacturers and gives you a lifetime limited warranty. Quality PPG waterborne paint, ASC certified personnel plus 24 hour towing service. Ozark Auto Body in Harrison, always taking pride in excellence. We all need the help of a pharmacy from time to time. Sullivan Pharmacy would like to thank all their customers for supporting them as an independent local pharmacy. When you trade with an independent pharmacy, you deal with an owner that supports the local economy and charities. 
visit Sullivan Pharmacy for any of your over-the-counter or prescription needs. It's important to keep helping those that help the community. Sullivan Pharmacy, 731 Main Street, Harrison, serving this area since 1965. Whether you ride mud, rocks, dunes, or trails, Polaris has a razor to match your passion. Unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, unmatched agility, and unbeatable comfort. Everything you need to chase memories and catch them. Find your razor at Polaris.com. On any given day here at Main Street Service Center, we might be working on a Ford like's on the four post lift over my shoulder, or an Infiniti that's back on the back bay, or a Toyota, or a BMW, or right here a Hyundai. You just never know what's going to come into the shop and what their needs might be. But you can rest assured that at Main Street Service Center, whatever you're driving, we can take care of it for you, whether it's oil and filter changes all the way up to engine and transmission replacements. And get this, we've been in business for 29 years, and there's still things that we can't do, and we're not too proud to say it. So if you bring us something and it's over our head or out of our capabilities of expertise or tools, we're not too proud to say it because we want your vehicle fixed correctly, right, and the first time. Cody Middleton at 15 98. Theft of property. You're no mischief. This is a revocation. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Now, this should be a first appearance on the petition to revoke. And I believe, yes, Judge Webb signed the sentence in order. Okay. They will enter a plea of not true. Here before Judge Webb on July 13th at 8.30, sir. Your Honor, can I, I have a, a bond set or can we do something? Uh, to, I mean, I ain't, I'm not a, I ain't rep for nobody. It was a miscommunication between a, Mr. Baumgartner and me saying I was absconding. I called Mr. Baumgartner and told him the situation uh, to meet up with him. He said he would be no longer my probation officer to talk to the judge. I got a wife out here that's pregnant that nobody up here with her right now. And uh, I mean, I'm the one paying for the doctor bills here, Your Honor. I don't have a state to help with this and uh, really need to get now. Okay. Well, what you, who is this probation officer, man? You know. Okay, it is Mr. Baumgartner. Okay, Mr. Baumgartner is your probation officer. Why don't you talk to him, and if there's just a misunderstanding, we'll try to adjust it. Okay, okay uh, how would I go about that, Your Honor? Well, your lawyer will do that for you. Okay, that's all we can do right now. Okay, and who's uh, my public defender, Your Honor? It'll be Mr. Burnett. Ben Burnett. Burnett? Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. Have a good day. Okay. State versus David Parton, 16298. It's a drug case. This is a revocation. That's correct, Your Honor. Should be a first appearance on a revocation, and it will be. A Judge Webb case. Okay. You got a lawyer, sir? Judge, that's a good man. Uh, I'll tell the officer of public defender. Okay. He's not been arraigned on it. We're going to enter a plea of not true. We'll enter a plea of not true. I'll have him appear before Judge Webb on July 13th, 8.30. You may stand aside, sir. Thank you. State versus Jordan Poscopal, 17-156. Theft of property. This is on a petition to revoke. Did you may approach Mr. May. Jordan, or Jordan's may have a
So I have appointed the public defender's office to represent G. Will in her plea of not true. Yes, said, okay. Have you appeared for Judge Webb on July 13th at 8.30? Thank you, sir. 10-52, 16-308, Michael Shipley. These are forms of revocation review, is that right? Judge, my understanding of Mr. Shipley's case is, is that he was set to be to the court of Division 4 and then didn't, I think, didn't show up for sentencing potentially, and that's there was an alias warrant issued. Oh, I yeah. see. So he just needs to appear before Judge Webb. Correct. That's my understanding. I see. I'll have him appear before Judge Webb on July 13th at 8 30. You may stand aside, sir. Corey Skiles has. 16,249, 17,309, 18-71, 18-220. Judge, it looks like 18,220 is for arraignment. Okay. How does he plead? These are we'll, drugs and firearms and other charges. We'll wait before we're reading the charges that are pleaded not guilty. Judge, as you have the other three cases, I would move to combine 2018-220-4 in your docket. That's fine. We'll uh, transfer the case if oh, yes. we'll okay. judge Webb and we'll have a, a – uh, you know, when will we have a pretrial in that case? <coughs> August 24th, 8, uh, 930. What is, Mr. Skiles had yeah. failed to appear in his other Division Three cases, and we had served Campbell Bonding Company with okay, well, notice to appear. He's in jail. You want to stop, be released? Yes. We'll release you from the bond, sir. Thank you. Wes, do we want to have everything to come back on August 24th? That'd be fine. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sam, can we agree to waive any 60 days yes. that might still be out there on the revocation? Judge, if there, if the 60 days on the revo hasn't been waived, we would waive the 60 days. Okay, let me look here. I think it has. Well, we'll, we'll reflect that it's waived. Yeah. Sam, I've got a copy when, of our file in this new case I'll give to you. When is his next appearance in, these, in one of these cases? Judge, he, he is set for trial on 17-309-18-71-the-week-of-July-30th,but-I-think-as-I-shared-I'm-out-of-town-that-week-I-think-if-we-could-have-everything-on-the-24th-of-August-we'd-be-able-to-come-to-a-resolution-if-not-we'll-
from the makers of the best-selling Yamaha Grizzly and Kodiak 700 comes the all-new Kodiak 450, the world's only mid-size ATV with Yamaha-proven off-road capability, all-day comfort, and confidence-inspired performance. The all-new Kodiak 450, starting at just $59.99. State versus Dale Steves, 18187. Possession of controlled substances, paraphernalia, drugs and firearms, other charges. <clears throat> Okay, his next appearance is August 10th for a pretrial at 9.30. Anything else? You may stand aside. State versus, is it DePara Tilly, 18.213, theft by receiving. <coughs> Sir, do you have a lawyer? No, sir. Are you going to hire a lawyer or make application to the public defender's office? Sir, public defender's. Okay, there should be a application at the jail there. Just uh, fill it out, turn it in. What was he transported from? Uh, Washington County Jail. He has a charge pending there as well. Is he going back there? Yes. I'm assuming so, yes. If we could get the if we could get the application filled out today, yeah. it would save us bringing him back for right. arraignment. And I do have discovery for the attorney that's appointed. Okay. If we could get him an application. Sir, if the, I'd like for you to fill out an application as soon as possible. Turn it in and maybe they can send it over to me to look at. I'll try to appoint. If you qualify, I'll appoint a lawyer to represent you. Enter a plea of not guilty in your case. We'll go from there. Thank you. You may stand aside. State versus Blake Wagner, 18 87. Not sure what the charges are. Aggravated residential burglary. Okay. And there's a battery charge and some other <clears throat> charges with that. Here for pre-trial. Are there any pre-trial matters? Sure, take no pre-trial motions to take up this time. Okay. Okay. You may stand aside, sir. Thank you. Shepherd, Shepherd, you say. Okay. That's fourteen dash twelve. I want a revocation. This will be a first appearance. And Judge Webb signed the sentencing order. Sir, I've appointed the Public Defender's Office to represent you. You appear for an arraignment on the petition to revoke your probationary period. How does he plead? Not sure, Your Honor. Okay, I'll have him appear for Judge Webb on July 13th at 8.30. Set a hearing for that day. Yeah, what, what about a bond, Your Honor? Well, let me see what you allegedly did or didn't do.
Your Honor, I note that the petition alleges a failure to report and whereabouts being unknown. I, I note that the warrant in this case was issued on December 8th of last year and was served on June the 4th. I don't know if the length of time between issuance and service would have anything to do with the nature of the petition or not. Do you know anything about his residence, where he's been? Uh, no, Judge, I am familiar with Mr. Shepard. I represented him previously, and uh, I think he lives locally with his if, brother. If he, if he hasn't reported since last September, is that the allegation? He did not report in September, and uh, as of December, his whereabouts were unknown. Yeah. Well, see if you can find out how often he, or not he's been reporting, and I'll be happy to address it then. Okay. The attorney's going to work on it, sir. We'll take it from there. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Julie Anderson, 16-23. On a revocation. Yes, Your Honor, this will be a first appearance on a petition to revoke probation. I signed it. Okay. You know. Trying to find my copy of the sentencing order. Okay. Let's see. Do you have a lawyer, ma'am? We were appointed. You're appointed? Week. Okay. Uh, we'll set down a hearing on July 20th, 9.30 or soon thereafter as we can get to it. You may stand aside, ma'am. Thank you. State versus Keisha Colette, 17-219. Battery in the first was the charge. Judges. Yes, may still be. Miss Colette, <coughs> excuse me. We're here for a plea deadline today, Judge. Mr. Bradford and I have engaged in some significant discussions about a potential resolution in this case. If the court could continue us to the 20th of July, I feel like we'll have an answer whether or not we can resolve it on that date or do something different. Is that a fair statement? Fair statement. We appear on July 20th, 9.30, ma'am. Ellen McGee or McGeehee, 18-139. Public intoxication, resisting arrest. We're here for a pretrial, is that right? Your Honor, at the previous scheduled appearance in the case, uh, Ms. Forney was in the state hospital, and it appears that she has had an 8.1 on May 31st for a new case, but uh, our office has not received a case file on that charge yet. Okay. Um, in addition, Your Honor, the state has filed a motion to dismiss the district court appeal in this matter and uh, mailed a copy of the motion to the jail on May 22nd. I, I'm assuming Ms. Forney received her copy. No, sir. Well, I called the jail to make sure that I had it addressed correctly and I'll check on that. If okay. I need to have one hand delivered, I'll, I'll take care of it. Do you have a lawyer, ma'am? Um, I was, Mr. Kirkpatrick said he's going to appoint the public defender. Um, I've also called a couple of lawyers to try to get a hold of them. Uh, and I have to, I've not had any luck at uh, getting one yet. Okay. But Mr. Kirkpatrick did appoint the public defender on uh, the 8.1 on the the last time. Oh. I was also wondering, is there a way I could get a bond reduction so that I could try to bond out? Yeah. Let me inter determine who represents you first. Okay, sir. The 8.1 information is not in the file. He, But he did appoint the public defender's office? That's what Mr. Kirkpatrick told me that day, yes, sir. Your Honor, I, I have a copy. I think he of, does that. Today. Go ahead. I do have a copy of the 8.1 form, and Judge Kirkpatrick checked off that... Uh, he advised the defendant that she could apply to the Boone County Public Defender's Office. Okay. Have you made an application to the Public Defender's Office? I did. He also told me that he was going to go ahead and appoint him to me that day, too. But I did make an application. I can make another one if I need to. Well, 
When did you make the application? Um, sometime while I was in here, sir. I okay, make make another make another application, ma'am. Okay. I was also wondering if I could get a bond reduction. I need like a bond out. I've got um, animals and chickens and stuff to yeah. take care of. I've lived in the community my entire life. I had no plans of moving or. Okay. What What is your bond now? What Twenty-five thousand. That's on the new case. Okay, that's on a different case, ma'am. This I'm talking about this district appeal. Oh, no. I, I'm already out on that. I've okay, well, well, the case we're talking I, about... If, I can, if, I, if I'm able to uh, plead my case on this, I can prove that the officer has been lying on his application that he put out, uh, uh, that he flat out got on his witness stand and lied on my case, that I bit him and he was the first one on the scene with Fuller at the I've never been anybody in my life or anything like that. Nor have uh, I, but, also, ma'am, <coughs> yes, this, we're talking about the district appeal. Yes, sir. Yeah, what, yes, sir apparently you're not, not in jail on that. I, I'm just going to leave it as scheduled. Let's see when your next appearance is. That's one September, I'm going to hire a lawyer for. September 7th, 930 is your next appearance. Okay, well, thank you, ma'am. You may stand aside. Thank you. Loretta Montgomery, 18171, possession of controlled substances and other misdemeanor charges. Judge, I'm standing for Mr. Gibson on this. Looking at the notes, I think just leave it on. Okay, yeah. Leave it as scheduled. Let me stand aside. Thank you, ma'am. What was that? I'm sorry, I didn't Okay, hear. your attorney said there's nothing to be done today in your case, so we'll leave it as scheduled. Let me see when your next schedule. Would I be able to I'll, be OR from here, or? I can't OR you, but does she have a bond? Do you have a bond? Yeah, would you be able to reduce that? Well, I don't know. Judge. Bond's currently set at $2,500. According to the criminal information, I was going to ask for a reduction. Plus, I've been in 60 days. I need to go on from that. Does she have any prior offenses, convictions? Uh, let's see, Judge. I show there's a prior arrest in 2013 for a domestic battery, but no disposition. <laughs> Another arrest in 2014 for a domestic battery that was not That was dropped. Public intoxication was a conviction, and there's a DWI in 2014. It looks like they're all, well, Marion County. There's Marion County and Boone County charges. Set the bond at fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. I reduced your bond, ma'am. Okay, thank you. You may stand aside. <laughs> Summer is here and Harness Boots and Shoes has some of the hottest brands and styles available at great prices. You'll find a huge selection of sandals by Chaco for men, women, and children in various styles and colors. Birkenstock Footwear sets the standard for comfort, quality, and functionality and continues to be one of their most popular brands. New for the season is their Tony Llama Casual Shoes for men and boys and the all-new Ariat Cruiser Classic Slip-On for women. Their selection of Twisted X continues to grow with the latest and new styles. Get in the swing of summer at Harness Boots and Shoes on the Square in Harrison.
Inland Waste Solutions works diligently to be good stewards of the environment. Reducing waste via curbside recycling services, Inland Waste Solutions takes this mission seriously, but they need your help. When putting your waste and recyclables in their respective curbside containers, be sure that cross-contamination doesn't occur. Please only place recyclable materials in the yellow top bins. Check your recycling do's and don'ts list before you throw any item into the yellow top recycle bin. Together we can make a difference. Inland Waste Solutions, local people serving local people in Harrison. State versus Amanda Mundy, 18-25, battery, impairing the operation of a vital public facility, criminal mischief. You know, Ms. Mundy's cases were on hold pending the completion of a forensic evaluation. Uh, the state did receive via email the forensic report on June 25th. Uh, Okay. The agency that performed the evaluation um, also asked for email addresses for the court and for the defense. I did provide them with with the email address I have for, for Ms. Uni and then also uh, for Ms. Derrick at the Public Defender's Office. All right. I'm hoping that all parties receive their copies of the report. Uh, Judge, we haven't got a real copy of the report. I, my notes show that we're still waiting on the results. I can make a copy of mine and provide it. Um, when they sent it to me, it didn't have a copy. It didn't say copy of the other email addresses, so it was only sent to me, apparently. Well, when is your next schedule to appear? Do I just need to set a date? I think she set for jury trial on 731. If we could have her reappear on the next 720, I think maybe the next day if we could have her reappear on 720 for a plea deadline. Very well. July 20th, 930. May I ask a question? You may. Um, may I get my bond reduced? I've been in for eight months. Okay. What is the amount of her bond? See, Judge, she has two cases in Boone County and two in Newton County. And... And I have one more question. Can we run all those cases concurrent? I, I don't know anything about the other cases. <laughs> Judge, there was an 8.1 in November that encompassed three of her pending cases and the bond was set at uh, 50000 with 45000 surety and $5,000 cash. Hey, what, what, you and Mr. Uh, Gibson discussed some matter because I, and see if you can agree to something, I don't know enough about it. Those are high bonds. Apparently there was something that was pretty bad going on or allegedly bad going on. The lawyer's going to work on it for you, ma'am. There's a wrap-up offer on the table. Okay. You may stand aside. July 20th. There's no way we can resolve it today. Well, I mean, the, the, the offer that they've conveyed has remained the same, and it's not one you're willing to take. And I think if you hang on, I think we can continue to negotiate. Can I know what the offer was? Oh, it was pending uh, time, and you were adamant uh, you wanted probation. So you think there's a chance I could get probation? Well, let's, let's not interview clients over the yeah, Skype system. Busy. Well, do you know when you'll have to see me? Uh, I don't have a date yet, but it'll be within the week. Or it's Friday. Okay. Uh, when my mom called you, can you answer and talk to her about it? I'll come see you, okay? Okay. Thank you, guys. God bless you. Have a great day. Amber Bond, 18-83 and 18-123, free trial, drug cases. Through 
message to the, ask the sheriff. She was asking to attend a funeral. Um, yes, sir. That, that time has passed. Okay. The, the funeral has already happened. Then there's no issues to take up. Okay. You may stand aside, ma'am. Thank you. Well, sir, um, can I ask a question? Um, is there any way that this no bond hold can be lifted and maybe a bond reduced so that I can get out and be with my family? Because this, this death happened not even a week ago. I didn't and know that I she was. Not, I shouldn't have a no bond hold because there's no FTA in my file. Now, in 2018-83, my notes reflect there was a failure to appear on March 16th. No, sir, I didn't have a court date for March 16th. My court date was February 9th, and they told me I was not in court, that I didn't, wasn't on the docket. I never was given a court date of March 16th. It was February 9th. I'm just stating what my notes reflect. On March 16th, I noted there was a failure to appear. In well, 2018, I was never given a court date. My court date was March 9th, and there's nothing with my signature on it with the court date of March 16th. It was February 9th. But can the bond that I, I didn't run, I didn't go anywhere, they found me at my home. Can I please have a bond so I can be with my family? <coughs> what date was she given to appear? Bond when I was released said February 9th. Well, just get that out of the court file or the sheriff's file, and the judge that's what it says. Sure. That's what we'll go I'm by. I'm not sure how she could have received a date of February 9th. I was arrested January 9th. Well, I was out on bond on that charge. All right. It's not in the court file. Just, just see what date she was given to appear, and if, if there's a signature bond, we can go with that. Just confirm it. That's all I'm, all I'm saying. They're going to look into it, ma'am. If you're correct, okay. we'll, we'll do what we need to do. So my, that bond can be reinstated? If the documents are as you say, yes. Okay. And um, is there any way I can be screened until... Uh, screen for drug court. Your lawyer, you can talk to your lawyer about that. We'll okay, and, about and if I'm not able to place bond, can I be, go to rehab until court? Talk to your lawyer, ma'am. That's all we can do today. Oh, thank you. Christy Schmink, 18200, non support. Do you have a lawyer, ma'am? Um, her back her up on the public defender for me. Did you ever fill out an application? Yes, I did. Okay. Public Defender's Office to represent you, and you appear for an arraignment. Enter plea of not guilty on our way to formal reading. Okay, we'll enter the plea of not guilty. I'll have her appear before Judge Webb on July 13th at 8:30. I have a question for you. Okay. Any way that I can get OR out of here so I can go back to work? So I'm supposed to start back tomorrow. Yeah, I won't give you an OR, but this what kind of bonds you got? Judge Kirkpatrick at her 8.1 on June 21st set a bond at $10,000, 2,500 cash, 7,500 cash for a professional shirt. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. You can take it up with Judge Webb. It's a, a, allegedly in excess of $25,000 in back due child support. Well, they've been, whenever I was working, they've been taking it out of my check. Hopefully so. Well, thank you. You may stand aside.
In Court on TKOA Television is brought to you in part by Campbell Bonding Company.